Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to design a part like this in FreeCAD. I will demonstrate a few basic operations for creating 3D solids in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a completely free 3D CAD system where we can create our own 3D models including for 3D printing. Additionally, FreeCAD can be used for both hobby and commercial purposes. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe and if you want to support this channel, you will find information in the description of this video on how to do that. Now let's move to FreeCAD and I will show you a few basic operations for creating 3D solids. Let's start a new project in the Part Design Workbench. This is the module where we create parts based on features and parameters. Create a new parametric part and in this module we work in such a way that we create 3D models based on 2D sketches. So we will start by creating a sketch and we will create a sketch on the XY plane. We will create a centered rectangle here, select that command. Place the center of the rectangle at the origin of the coordinate system and draw a rectangle with dimensions of 30 by 50 millimeters. Close the sketch and based on this sketch we will create a solid by extruding the sketch. Select the pad operation and add an extrusion of the sketch by 30 millimeters. Click OK and in this way we have created a simple solid. Now we will create another sketch. We will create a sketch on this face. Select this face and choose to create a sketch. Here select the draw slot option and draw a slot approximately like this. Here enter the dimension of the slot as 30 millimeters and the angle is 0. Hit enter. Now Enter the width of the groove as 5 millimeters. OK. Right click to cancel the slot drawing and we have created a slot like this. Now select this point, select this point and select the Y axis and choose the symmetry constraint to place the slot symmetrically relative to the Y axis. Next select this point, select this point and press the D key and enter 20 millimeters as the distance of the slot from the origin of the coordinate system. The sketch is fully constrained. Close the sketch and now based on this sketch we will remove material and we will do it using the pocket operation. Select this operation and here we can add a pocket. We will add a through pocket for the entire solid and click OK. Now we will create another sketch, we will create another sketch on this face. Select this face and choose to create a sketch. Here select the create external geometry command and select this edge to define the reference geometry based on the edge of the solid. Now select the draw rectangle option and draw a rectangle whose center will be at this point. Click the left mouse button here to place the center of the rectangle at this point. Now enter 20 millimeters as the width of the rectangle. Press enter. Now this dimension of the rectangle is constrained. We need to define this dimension but we can do it in such a way that we hover over this line and left click at this point. Then the corner of the rectangle will be constrained with this line and the dimension of this rectangle will be added automatically. Close the sketch and based on this rectangle we will remove material and here we will also use the pocket operation and add a pocket with a depth of 25 millimeters. Click OK and in this way we created such a solid. OK now we will create another sketch. Select to create a sketch and we will create a sketch on the XY plane. Let's start by creating reference geometry. Use the create external geometry command and create reference geometry based on this edge and this edge. Switch to the section view and start drawing circles. Select the draw circle option. Draw a circle whose center will be constrained to the x-axis and here enter 10 millimeters as the diameter of the circle. Create a second circle whose center will be constrained to the center of the first circle and here enter 25 millimeters as the diameter of the circle. And we do the same on the other side, the first circle with a diameter of 10 millimeters and the second circle with a diameter of 25 millimeters. Right click to cancel the draw circle command 
Now, select the center of this circle, select the center of this circle, select the Y axis, and choose the symmetry constraint so that these circles are placed symmetrically to the Y axis. Select the Draw Polyline option and draw a polyline approximately like this. Place the second point of the polyline on this line and the third point of the polyline also on this line, ending the drawing of the polyline at this point. Right click. The polyline drawing command is still active, so we will create a similar polyline on the other side. OK. I right click to finish drawing this polyline and again right click to cancel the draw polyline command. Now we select this point, select the circle, and choose the tangent constraint. We do the same with the other lines. Select the point, the circle, and press the T key to apply the tangent constraint here. I do the same with this point and this circle. I press the T key, and this point, the circle, and I press the T key. If these lines are not horizontal lines, select the line that is not horizontal and choose the horizontal vertical constraint. OK, we have such a sketch. Now let's select the centers of the circles, press the D key, and add a dimension of 75 millimeters here. OK, and based on this sketch, we will create another part of the solid, but before we do that, let's use the Trim Edge command and trim the parts of the circles. OK, now the sketch is complete. Close the sketch and based on this sketch let's add an extrusion. Select the pad operation and add an extrusion of 5 mm. Click OK and in this way we created something like this. Now let's select these edges. We can make selecting such edges easier by switching to wireframe view. With the control key Select the edges where we want to add fillers. Select these four edges. Let's switch back to the As Is view. And select the fillet command. And add a fillet with a radius of 5 millimeters. And here, for this operation, I would like to add more edges. If you would like to add more edges to the fillet, you can do that in this operation. To do this, click the Select button and select the additional edges you want to fillet. Then click Preview and in the preview we see how it will look. Click OK to confirm it. In this way we created such a solid in FreeCAD. As you can see 3D modeling in FreeCAD is quite simple. That's all for today. Thanks for watching check out other videos on this channel and please subscribe to this channel.